Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my health coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, lack of forgiveness causes almost all of our self-sabotaging behaviors. It's by Mark Victor Hansen. Now, I truly believe that when he said this quote, he intended, first of all, that it was lack of self-forgiveness that causes almost all of our self-sabotaging behavior. So let's begin by talking about self-forgiveness. When there are things that we did in the past that we cannot seem to forgive ourselves for, we, we form a, a victim mentality. And having a victim mentality is the worst it gets for your self-esteem. It doesn't really get any worse. And to stop this suffering, because a victim mentality does really cause a lot of suffering, the first step is to learn to eventually forgive ourselves for anything that we feel that we have done wrong or bad in the past. We deserve this forgiveness since most often than not, we are the ones to be hardest on ourselves while others may have already forgotten or forgiven us for our behaviors. And to be honest, even if others haven't forgiven us for any wrongdoing we may have caused them, we can still forgive ourselves for our behavior and move on with our life. It, it, it really does us no good to keep treating ourselves in a bad way because of something that we did in the past or something that we didn't do in the past but we feel that we should have done. We really need to forgive ourselves for anything that was not as we or others think the result was as it should have been. Now, even if you did something that is not acceptable to society, if you understand that your actions were wrongful and should not have been done, you can forgive yourself and move on as best as you can. Now, sometimes an unwanted result happens in our life and we have taken responsibility for it out of the belief that we supposedly could have predicted the outcome or by thinking if only we would have acted differently, the result would have been different. But we cannot really know what could have happened if we would have done things differently. We have to deal with the present reality, not what could have been. Now, in all these situations, we seem to forget the simple principle that we are always doing our best with the resources available to us at any given uh, period in time in, uh, in time in our life. And from my personal experience and listening to countless people in my practice, although life doesn't always bring us what we desire, life does always bring us what we need. Now. Uh, in my personal life, I have made many mistakes and I married my first cousin because I was scared of rejection and being left alone. And I knew that my cousin couldn't leave me, <laughs> really. So I married uh, my cousin from a place of false security, even though I did love him. It was certainly a, a crazy decision. Now, the result uh, was the birth of our two mentally challenged daughters. And I carried this blame for many, many years on my shoulders and held a vic victim mentality. In effect, I felt that I ruined my daughter's chance of a good life even before they were born because of my choice, even though I didn't know that this was going to be the result. But uh, with time, I forgave myself for my bad decisions and see that if my daughters had come to this world, I am happy that they came to me because uh, uh, I, I think I am a great mother to them. And from them, I learned the true meaning of unconditional love. So both of us, both my daughters and I, have gained a lot from their birth in their special uh, way that they came to this world. Uh, so this I would have not have learned probably in any other way with the depth that I learned this, this message. So maybe the result was not as I wished for or expected. The result made me what I am today and brought me to a place that I am today, with, uh, which is, in my mind, a place that is good mentally, physically, and spiritually. And my daughters are also very, very happy, which is something that most healthy people do not achieve in their life. So they are very happy and content with their life. 
So let's move on. After forgiving ourselves, we can go on forgiving others for any wrongdoing they did to us. Now, this is a very uh, spiritually powerful place to be. Forgiveness allows us, you, the forgiver, to be free from the negative feelings that you may be carrying on your shoulders, such as anger or hatred or frustration. Now, since human behavior research shows us that really every person does their best with the resources available to them at any given moment, when someone does something that hurts you, you must remember that their behavior was not from a place of actually hurting you, but from a place of supporting their selves in some, uh, in some way. And most importantly, when we are hurt by someone, it is only because we hold the belief that this person was not supposed to behave in the way they did that, uh, that hurts us. If you wouldn't hold this belief, you wouldn't be hurt by their behavior. So in a sense, no one can really hurt us but us, but us ourselves. Now, it is our beliefs and expectations that are causing you to feel hurt and wounded, and it is never really the, uh, about the other person. Now, of course, uh, your beliefs may be backed by socially acceptable behavior. I understand that. Still, it is only our beliefs and expectations that can hurt us, really. Now, it is important to state that when you forgive someone that wronged you in any way, this doesn't, of course, justify their behavior in any way. And, of course, you can still take action against their behavior if there is need. But for your own personal mental health, releasing the blame is critical, really, for mental health. And this can only be done by true and deep forgiveness. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place. So the question of the day is that you, that you want to ask yourself is, uh, in what areas of my life am I holding a grudge for myself for making a bad decision? And the next question that I think you should ask yourself is also, uh, who do I feel has wronged me in the past that I still feel makes that I still feel makes me feel bad when I think of them? So these are the two questions that I think we should be asking ourselves. And as usual, I recommend writing these questions and in, in, in your answers in a notebook that you have, especially for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over them from time to time and see how your life is improving or if you want to reference your answers. Now, the affirmation of the day that will help you forgive yourself and others is, I acknowledge my faults and forgive myself completely. As I, and as I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. I acknowledge my faults and forgive myself completely. And as I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently and this will help create a happier, better life for you and those around you. So thank you very much for joining me here today. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel uh, for daily uh, coaching sessions five times a week. And once a week, I upload a health and wellness video. Um, thank you very much for joining. And also visit my website at thegorillodiet.com for anything to do with health, weight loss, uh, programs, books that you may want to pur purchase to improve your life. So thank you very much.